friends, and welcome to Starry Hilder Off Grid. Look, I've got an all season solo cooker. Mm. And what am I cooking? Mm, I'm not going to show you. No. <laughs> not going to show you because there's enough YouTube videos out there showing how to cook chicken, brownies, rice, you name it, in the solar cookers. And, and you know, and that's all great. But there's really not a lot of videos out there uh, giving you real life advice on solar cookers. Yeah, like, like real stuff. Like, do they really work? Practical to buy? Many, many years ago, me and Mr. Hilder were in the same boat. I wanted to be prepared 100% on my homestead. And this is even before I went off grid. So I knew that, you know, cooking was a number one priority. If you ran out of propane, electricity went off, something happened to your stove or your oven, uh, yeah, you could always build a campfire. But you know, when, if you really wanted to keep cooking, a solar oven. I, I thought that was just, just a great concept. When I found out about it, I thought, look at this thing. The sun always shines. You know, we got sun, spring, summer, winter, fall. It's up there. It may not come out every day, but I thought, what a great concept. So I started doing my research. And I was sold on the solar ovens. I really was. What I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to talk about the truth about solar ovens. But there's not another... <laughs> video out there on that. Okay friends, first a little tutorial because there are three different types of solar cookers, but you didn't know that. And it's really important because remember, our focus is homesteading. You may be wanting to use this as an alternative way of cooking, which is great because that's what I do when it is sunny out and I don't want to use my propane in my oven and, and, and you don't want to use your electricity, solar cooker. Uh, so it's not just for emergency preparedness and a backup or RVing and camping. Uh, so we're really looking at it for a practical use. Feeding your family, cooking. Solar box ovens, very conventional. It cooks between 250 to 300 degrees. You put your pot in there. It's insulated. Then we got panel cookers. You see a lot of these. They use uh, reflection. Put the pot in the middle. Uh, sometimes the designs are kind of flimsy, so I had a hard time really finding one that was impressive. A parabolic solar cooker. Uh, high temperatures, almost grilling temperatures, between 400 and 600 degrees. Probably not practical for homesteading and making your family a meal, and simply because uh, the size pot that you put in a parabolic cooker is very small. And if you're going to grill, just use your grill, right? And then there's another one that I see a lot of lately, and it is one of these long contraption go sun uh, uh, solar cookers. Th these are for uh, people who want to have fun. Uh, they're not uh, providing food for a large amount of people because you can see uh, th just a little chopped vegetables you stick in there like a little sleeve of peas. Uh, you, you make a little little brownies. These are like like play solar cookers. Probably not something you want for homesteading, off-gridding because you're not going to get a lot of food out of that. But um, I included that because they're out there. Now, what I have found, which is, which is a miracle, because I got an all-season solar cooker, which is like the best of th two worlds combined, a box oven and a panel cooker. So this is really sweet. Okay, friends, I don't want to sound like an infomercial, but... Let's just put it this way. Go to the All Season Solar Cooker website so you get where I'm coming from with this solar cooker. Uh, you want to cook for your family, and I don't care if there's two of you or there's five of you. You want to make some meals. They, on their website, talk about their design and how they are able to utilize the sun from dawn to dusk. Huh? Like, how do they do it? It's all in the design. And that means instead of one meal per day, like most conventional ovens, you can cook up to three meals per day. No lie. No, ab absolutely. So think about that in terms of usage, okay? That's a great selling point. Also, with any solar oven, think outside the box. Here, look it. 
The last summer we picked hordes of morels and I used the solar oven to dehydrate some of them. Worked so well. I also take a lot of my garden spoils and I stick them in my all season solar cooker. It acts as a dehydrator. So really think outside the box. I also look, there's my there's my yogurt. There's Starry Hilder's famous yogurt. I use my all season solar cooker to make such things as yogurt. Really, be creative with your solar ovens. They have really no limits to what you can cook and bake and, cre and create. And here, here you go. Here's one of the meals that I made. It was a Mexican casserole. Take it from Starry. I use mine and I love it. And here's another point. The construction of that solar oven that you're looking at. This all season solar cooker, oh, I hate to... Don't tell Mr. Hilder. Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth. It has been left out in the rain, the snow. Uh, wind uh, has blown it away a couple times uh, because I didn't have anything in it. Uh, and I, I left it outside, like not underneath the porch. It, it kind of blew a little bit. Um, <laughs> but it's still one piece. And that's because the construction is really worthy of wind, rain, a snow and I'm not advocating that you do that don't test it I've already done the testing on the Ulsa season solar cooker trust me I'm I'm a good tester for them this is a key point the construction does vary from solar cooker to solar cooker and if you're investing good money for a backup cooking plan you want something that's gonna stand up because what happens if you do accidentally leave it out in the rain or you're cooking something and it's sunny for that day and you do leave and all of a sudden a storm moves in that that has happened you want to make sure that it can withstand the elements. And like this all season solar cooker, it's been put through the starry test. So compare apples to apples because you're going to be paying some money for a solar cooker and you want it to last. Here's another point, the size. Pay attention because let's just use my all season solar cooker. This thing is huge and this solar cooker I can fit in my 15 by 10 inch, 10 pound roasting pan in there. 10 pound roasting pan. And, and in that roasting pan, I can put my eight pound meat bird in there. Mm -hmm. I can cook a big container or roasting pan of goulash. Talking about emergency backup cooking, most people are cooking for their family. And even with two people, I mean, me and Mr. Hilder, we eat a lot of food. I can't live off of brownies. No, I can't live off of a couple pieces of chicken. No. So having a solar oven that holds a very large roasting pan and has a huge surface on here, this surface here, not this. This surface is what matters because solar cookers can be very deceptive. When you have the reflectors that come out, you know, they're designed to come out and capture the sun. It, they, they make the solar cookers look very big, but that doesn't matter how big that capturing unit is. What matters is, and this is where the deception can be, is where you put your pan. I can put two pans in here or a big 15 pound roasting pan. I can cook a lot of stuff in the solar cooker. It is like a small oven. Okay friends, that was the down and dirty of uh, solar cookers. So now you kind of know, right? You got an idea of what you're looking at, how much you're going to spend, what you should get for your family. Uh, but here's, I want to wrap it up with this very last thing. We are really confident in the, this brand, the All Season Solar Cooker brand. So confident that we are going to give one away. Yay! I'm going to the great Appalachia Homesteading Conference, May 5th. It's a Saturday. Oh, and, and there's so many people that are showing up. I have to have two classes. And we're going to be giving away some more All Season Solar Cookers, just simply because... Uh, this is a product that we love here on our homestead. We've been using it for many years now. Yeah, many years now. And why not give somebody else a chance to have one of these too? Because I know you friends, you're serious about becoming more self-sustainable. And this is a great practical tool to have on or off grid. So it's gonna be possible. What I need you to do is share the video to your Facebook, to pin it, to whatever. 
okay make a comment and tell me where you shared it and you'll be entered into the contest and then we will get a hold of you we're gonna we're gonna have a drawing in five days and I'm not going to do a follow-up video I'm just gonna draw the name and I will personally contact you how's that sound and if you're coming to the conference eh, don't worry about it everybody's gonna be in the drawing all right thank you friends for some real non-biased non-biased no unbiased information about solar cookers I hope you found it practical and real all right, God bless.